With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, a water drop of radius 10 to the power minus 2 meter is broken into a thousand equal droplets. We have to calculate the gain in surface energy. The surface tension of water is given as 0.075 Newton per meter. Now, for the sake of imagination, let's just suppose that this is our water droplet and its radius is capital R and it is broken into a thousand equal parts. Let's just say all of these parts are of radius small r, right? Now we have to calculate the gain in surface energy. Here liquid is brought from the inside in order to create new surfaces. So for this work has to be done. This work is consumed to increase the surface energy of these bubbles. Now surface tension is equal to this increase in surface energy divided by the increase in surface area. Now surface tension of water is given as 0 0.075 Newton per meter. 0 0.075 Newton per meter into we have to calculate the change in area, the increase in the surface area from a liquid bubble to a thousand droplets. This would give us the increase in surface energy. right? So we have to calculate the change in surface area. For that we have to calculate the relation between the radius of the bigger droplet and radius of smaller droplets. We know that the volume of bigger droplet is equal to volume of thousand droplets. Now these are spheres. So volume of bigger droplet would be equal to 4 upon 3 by r cube now these are thou thousand droplets so is equal to thousand into volume of one sphere which is four by three by small r cube so we get r cube is equal to one thousand of a, a small r cube so capital r divided by small r is equal to ten here, change in surface area delta A is equal to 1000 droplets area which is 1000 into 4 pi r square minus the surface area of bigger drop. This one is greater because these are a thousand spheres so naturally the surface area has been increased this comes out to be 4000 pi small r square minus 4 pi capital R square and this can be written as pi into 4000 r square minus 4 capital R square. We can multiply and divide by small r square. So we get pi r square into 4000 minus 4 capital R upon small r square. This is equal to pi r square 4000 minus 4 into we know that the capital R upon small r is equal to 10. So 10 square this comes out to be 4000 minus 400 which is 3600 
pi small r square. This is change in the surface area. We know change in surface energy delta E is equal to surface tension into change in area. Surface tension is given to be 0 0.075 into change in area is 3600 pi r square. Now r square can be written as r by 10 square. Now we know the radius of bigger bubble is 10 to the power minus 2 meter. So 0 0.075 into 3600 into pi into radius is 10 to the power minus 2 meter 10 meter. So the change in surface energy comes out to be equal to 8.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 joule. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.